Hi everyone, welcome to What's for Dinner. This is Baina. Today is actually something new. We're actually going to real local restaurants that we usually get, like to eat at and show you what we like or what we don't like. Today we're gonna be reviewing a Chinese restaurant. I heard that they just came out with this Hunan-ish uh, vermicelli, but it's not that like a thin kind of, it's uh, kind of a rice noodle. It's really thick, it's round, I really like it. It's kind of have a chewy texture. Let's go check it out. So I just got the number. This one seemed to be there has a line and they will send you a text when the table is ready. So I have been setting on my phone to see how long the wait is and we'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Finishing the order, we waited 50 minutes total. Yeah. Honestly, first impression, not bad, but it is you just feel like something's lacking in there. Not sure what it is, it's kind of bland, I have to say. But overall, the taste is not bad with the green onions added to it. And then we asked for extra spicy. What they do is that they just add in like chopped up chili. This is pretty spicy, but because it's not cooked, it kind of has like that raw chili pepper, kind of a stinkyish taste. At least to myself, I don't like raw chili pepper. And then what? else they do is that they give you this chili oil we had a video made on how to do this and honestly it's not spicy at all but it does have enough fragrances to make you want to eat it again so. um i have to say though i'm pretty surprised that this thickness is kind of it's not too thin it's not big so but the beef is good. It's not too dry. It's tender. Now we have finished the noodle. We were really, really hungry when we got here. So supposedly, whenever you're the most hungry, whatever food you eat is the best kind of food you have ever tasted. But even then, I feel like this is just average. So for Seattle area, maybe three out of five. Just average. Maybe you can drop by during lunch break on a work day to just have this. It's easy. It doesn't take too long. If there is a line, definitely do not stay for it. It's not worth it. Do you think that's fair? Okay. The camera woman is nodding, so I take that as a yes. So yeah, that's what we think. So we ordered this one instead. It's just normal chili beef stir fry. And it took 21 minutes from ordering to serving. So actually, the seasoning is on point, but the texture of the beef, I think it's slightly overcooked because it's really hard to chew. I mean, for this tiny little piece of beef, man. Now, two seconds into the chewing, you're like, eh, I'm tired. So, I think overall, I'll just give it 3.5. I like the seasoning, but not so much of the texture. I like how they chop. Oh, the chili pepper. I see that there's jalapeno and then there's regular um, bell pepper. Probably just to reduce a little bit of the heat for people who can't eat very spicy. So I think this place is trying to, what they're trying to do is that to make like a quick um, lunch place where you can come during your work day and then just have an average meal that most people wouldn't complain about it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Not with the rice, you can't really tell because we are mixed in eating the beef and the rice and the pepper. So, I would still say it's 3.5 though. So, yes, overall, I'll give it 3.25. First of all, it's really easy parking, so for that, I'll 
look at 5 out of 5 for Seattle or greater Seattle area. But for service, just that one lady was really nice to The rest of them was like acting like, you know, normal Asian restaurant. They don't want you there. So that's normal. So average party point. So out of five. And then the furnishings are fairly up to date, I would say. And those fake tree leaves or whatever, whatever. You can't see like a huge dust bunny on it. Yeah, my standard is really low. Yeah. So, 3.5. After all, 3.25, I think it's fair. But the two we eat shit. We have two white rice, one bowl of beef noodle soup, and one stir fry. And it's only $30 with tax included. So I think this is a really good deal if you're just coming over here for a work day lunch. But if you have to wait in line like we did for an hour, I don't think it's worth it. The really nice lady decided to give us two desserts for free to compensate for the plastic that was in the food. So we didn't get to use the, uh, the discount that we had. So they gave us two desserts. It's supposed to be like a coconut tapioca with not the boba tea black tapioca, the tiny ones, like a kind of like a pearl, and then with some grapefruit. I mean, honestly, what I can say is that I'm very thankful that this is free because if I paid for this, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, I think it's time to leave. I can't. I can't. <laughs>